So honestly, this video was a long time in the making. I wanted to talk about this for a while now, and I finally had the time to make this, and yeah, I'm making it right now. Okay, so I did not write a script for this. It's going to sound jumbled, but just bear with me, okay? I'm just going to hit fire it, but I feel like I needed to make this video, and I didn't feel like writing a script. I just wanted to talk to the people, to the people. So, recently I seen clips of the new Jujutsu Kaisen game. I was really, really hyped for it, okay? I just got into Jujutsu Kaisen recently. Uh, it's a great anime. It has really unique fights. Um, a lot of cool arcs. We ain't getting that shit 2027 again, which is the same as a sad shame. However, they had a game, and I was really, really hyped for it, and I thought they was going to do some really, really big things with the game. So I was like, okay, this is look dope, this and the third. Me and one of my homies, shout out to Sejuo, uh, he had copped the game early. Um, I don't know how he did it. He probably robbed the GameStop. You never know. Who knows, okay? So I seen gameplay of it, and I couldn't help feel underwhelmed. That shit felt like a PSP game, and it, I, I feel like... A lot of anime fighters or a lot of anime games just has this bad rep and leaves a bad taste in people's mouth. Now, starting from just this Jujutsu Kaisen game, it's been games in the past that have flopped that really wasn't that good. I wouldn't say flop. All right, I'm going to take that back. I ain't going to say flop, but I'm just going to say not that good, okay? Now, let's just dial it back. Let's go back just a little bit, probably like a few months ago, okay? Or even a few months. Uh, now we're told to me Ninja Storm, uh, what is that, Connections? Yes, that is just a copy and paste of Storm 4, okay? And, yeah, it's just a copy and paste. Everybody who played it literally said the combat is better, which I love how the combat is. They added a lot of stuff in the combat. However, everything else is watered down, and people consider that one of the worst Naruto games. Not only because the combat is just okay, but everything else, they kind of, it's bare bone. It's really, really bare bone. And I feel like that's what a lot of anime games, these companies see these franchises, they see they flourishing, and they're like, you know what? We can make a game, because they know people are going to pretty much buy it due to the initial hype, people just see these games, they have these big franchises, they have these big fan bases, and people want to buy because obviously, who don't want to support their favorite anime franchise? I know I do. Listen, I bought Battles in Ultimate Tengaishi. Both them games were trash, okay? I told myself as a kid, like, oh, it's Ultimate Tengaishi look fun. I played the demo of Battles in and still bored it. I deserve to be shot in tar and feathered. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, all right? But... As a fan, you want to support your favorite anime franchise, and I understand that. And I think a lot of times, these companies don't understand, we're putting our hard-earned money into you guys, okay? $70 is a lot for a game. Especially like that Jujutsu Kaisen game. If you haven't seen the gameplay, look it up. It literally looked like PSP fucking gameplay, and I feel like it would have been better suited in a 2D fighter. And there's a lot of games that could have been way better in a 2D fighter. I think when people go for these 3D fighter modes, it kind of hinders the game. Like, the 2D fighter mode is great. I feel like fighters did it well. I feel like if you guys played the uh, Fist of the North Star game back in, like, 2005, it was this uh, Fist of the North Star game. I played it on my channel. It was a 2D fighter. It was really, really amazing. Uh, there's even a, a Joseph's Bizarre Adventure 2D game. Uh, and even if you want to opt for the 3D fighter mode, go for something that works with the anime. Jujutsu Kaisen is really a hand-to-hand -hand heavy combat uh anime if you haven't watched this big on hand in combat do they have those big explosions yes but you could have put it in a 2d setting i feel like it would have been a lot better had you would have put it in 2d setting the 3d model the 3d fighter mode only works for like dragon ball z games due to the flying and all that and naruto games but i think a lot of other games need to stop trying to fit in that mode and fit in a different mode like i think games that kind of went different that i think did well in my opinion that i personally think yeah that was a good style it's like games like my hero my hero academia ultra rumble i feel like that battle royale style was really fitting for this uh for the game i think it was really really fun dragon ball the breakers felt refreshing other than a normal oh uh, is goku fighting radis again it felt refreshing it felt really really good um I feel like games should do more stuff like that. Try to be more different. But then again, I understand. The fan base is toxic. You do something different, fans gonna hate it. When people seen Dragon Ball The Breakers, they called it Dead by Dragon Ball. They was hating on it all automatically. And I understand. Like, it's okay to be skeptical. But then again, at least give the games a chance if you're gonna, like, just trash it. Give the game a chance. I feel like that's what more fans should start doing. But 
until that, we're going to keep getting these same 3D fighters that we always see. And I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen would have been better in a 2D setting. I feel like the 3D mode didn't work, especially since Jujutsu Kaisen don't have really any interactive or special maps or any special arenas or things like that. Like when you think of 3D fighters and you want to see the arena, you're thinking of like notable arenas like uh, the tuning exam arena or just planet dynamic or things like that. I think that's what makes it work. If they're just fighting in grassy forest lands or in a schoolyard, it's not really that interactive. So why make it 3D a 3D fighter? Why not make it a 2D fighter? You can still have those destructive uh, finishes and ultimates just like how fighters did it. You can make it cool. Even fan made games like Hyper Dragon Ball Z did it well. Like they, You can do it like that. I feel like Certain games should be in certain modes, and I feel like certain companies don't understand that. They have this, they the game styles really clash. It don't really mesh well. That's like me making a Cowboy Bebop game, right? And Cowboy Bebop is my favorite anime, so I would definitely support it. But if it's anything other than an action or adventure game, I shouldn't buy it. Granted, it does have a lot of elements of combat, but it's not the main thing. There's a lot of shooting scenes. There's a lot of, like, flying uh mex scene mex or what do you mex that it sounds like i'm saying mix flying spaceships okay they have flying spaceships and they be shooting out and all that it should be an action adventure game strictly that's all it should be it shouldn't be nothing else and i feel like that's the issue a lot of these uh games they just feel like out of place they feel like you know just so out of place and when they are in place they're done bad they're done really, really bad. And I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen don't even have enough characters to fill up a roster. I feel like it's just another cash grab. Hey, this anime is hot. Let's just give it a game. Look at One Punch Man. How long that lasted. Look at all these other anime games that just didn't last. And I feel like the ones that do last are the ones that step outside of the box. One Piece Odyssey, which I thought was an amazing game. If you haven't played One Piece Odyssey, please play it. I feel like the turn-based style was perfect for One Piece. Granted, Pirate Warriors is a banger. But Odyssey, that's literally my favorite One Piece game. And I don't even like One Piece. I'm, be honest with you, I'm not even a big One Piece, One Piece fan. But One Piece Odyssey was a banger. But I feel like these games, these anime games should really stick to like some type of, you know, trying to make the game fun, but also make it in universe. Don't make everything a 3D fighter. It's just not going to work. It's, it's not going to work every single time, okay? What works for Dragon Ball ain't going to work for anybody else, okay? Cause us Dragon Ball fans, we won't buy everything they sell us, okay? I'm gonna buy Spark and Zero, even if it's trash. If it's trash, I'm not gonna say it's trash. I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry. But I feel like I'm seeing the same thing with anime fighters, and it's kind of disappointing. I was hyped for Shinobi Tracker, and that let me down. Granted, I had fun when it first came out, but there was a lot of things that was missing that was bare bone. I just feel like they just tosses out games and like, well, they're gonna buy it. Look at Xenoverse Two. It came out when I was in high school. Look at me now. I'm like 35, okay? We still waiting for Xenoverse 3, but I don't even care no more. When Tenkaichi 4 come out, I ain't never touching the Xenoverse ever again. Or I'm lying, but still. It, it sounds convincing to me. But yeah, I feel like these anime games need to start coming up. They need to start doing something fresh. Do something different. Switch it up. I don't know. Make more different things in the fans. Us fans, we need to give it a chance. But granted, Watch gameplay first, because if the game is trash, don't throw your money to them, okay? They just want your hard-earned money anyway. So go on, guys. But we got to all step together. We got to get them criticisms. Well, I hope, you know, we get them violent criticism. I hope we don't just shit on everything. But, yeah, I just seen, like, a trend of everybody saying, oh, well, people was hating on the game. The game looks like a PSP game, okay? It don't look fun. It don't look interesting. It don't look as impressive visually. It don't look really that cool. So I understand why people would be like, oh, I don't really you know want this game but yeah i really hope these devs come through start doing different stuff i don't want to see anime games die i really really love these anime games and will i give Jujutsu kaisen a try probably i'm gonna link up with the homies and try to play it if the game is bad then i'm just gonna tell you it's bad if if it's good i'm gonna recount all this but from what i've seen it don't look that fun it looks like you got the shelf life for like a month or two it looked like it'll be fun for a month and then you're like oh, okay what can i do like, it literally, what can I do? Wait for the DLC? And they're going to have, like, two characters? Look at Demon Slayer. What happened to that? What happened to that? I played that for, like, a good month and a half. I was having the time of my life, and I realized, damn, they only got eight characters. Now I got to wait for the other ones. Then when the other ones came, it's like, oh, one character every three months. I can't, I can't, I, 
I can't stay stay in line with that. I, I can't. That's not fun. So yeah, I'm just really hoping that a lot of these games start getting better. Okay? I want to see Jump Force 2 revamp. I know Jump Force 1 was bad, but give it a chance. I want to see Shinobi Striker 2. Listen, Xenoverse 1 was not that good. Shinobi Striker 2 could be a banger, okay? But yeah, that's what I just wanted to say. I just wanted to make this video just talking about that. If you guys have any... If you agreed or disagree, that's what I'm saying. What, what am I saying? If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to hear your thoughts. What games do you feel like that were underappreciated? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you think I'm just stupid and oh, you, you're you dumb, that game looks fun. Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to have a discussion between us anime fans, okay? I am Sir Khalid. I am your host. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.